Hey everyone, it's Lisa from Dana August Nails. Welcome to the channel. It's a watch me work. Buckle down and have us a seat. Okay, so I'm doing my sister's nails. I am going in with that Mia Secret Dehydrator. I, I love this stuff. I really do love this stuff, but I'm going to start using the, um, you know, swipe from Young Nails. Let's see how that goes. Speaking of Young Nails, I'm scraping in that protein bond. Two layers of that, because my sister does a lot of the mopping, the washing the dishes. You know, she is an awesome individual so i need these nails to stick we've gone in for a very nice um like an, a nice little almond i think it's a you know what i would say it's a little bit more pointed but um yeah so now having let that protein bond dry i'm going in with a thin layer of the gershon base coat because you guys know i pretty much use poly gel on my sister and my mom so um, except my, my little sister is purely acrylic but with my older sister it's pretty much just poly gel so i'm gonna do a thin layer of this and then i will cure it for a full 30 seconds um it's weird it's like you can't find any gershon things on freaking amazon anymore like what i'm scared to check the website and be like man it's not there anymore <laughs> you know I'll, 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 I'll panic i definitely will Okay, so here I'm using Gershon's Dark Pink. Um, I like the dark pink. It's it's way more pigmented than the natural pink. Um, and so you it can pass as a really good nail bed color, but then also as a very just a very solid pink on its own. I will be doing a full cover on all of the nails. So as you can see, I plopped on a dollop of that color um, at the very center of the nail. And I fanned it down a little bit to the free edge and that helped to thin out, you know, the top of the bead, allowing me to easily move just a little bit up to the cuticle area, make it nice and flush from center to sidewall to free edge, then back to center to sidewall to free edge. And that's how I uh, sort of operate. But you know what? It's, it's, it's me. I use several different techniques when I'm doing nails, which is probably why I kind of am just floating in the wind when it comes to this uh, this nail game you know what I mean my brush is I wouldn't say entirely coated but it is it's got at the very tip or so it's got the base coat I've learned not to coat my entire brush because it does soften the material so here I am going again from center of the cuticle down to the sidewall down to the free edge going back up to center other sidewall back to free edge and you know, moving around the product, like just around the free edge area and the corners of the nail, it allows for the product, the bulk of the product to stay in the center, you know, and then I just sort of move it around to the apex area and, um, you know, it self levels pretty well. And then I get to give it a full cure on low heat mode, you guys, for 60 seconds, at which point I'm going to cleanse, you know, finish file, buff, and then we'll get ready for the artwork. Now this is a very simple artwork and um, you know, it's it's very fitting for any time, but uh, right now it's pretty good too, you know? Little Valentine's Day action going on, for sure. Why not? Why not use very simple looks for Valentine's? Ones that necessarily aren't screaming Valentine, but you know, cause maybe you're not, you're not here for that. Maybe you're not here for that, those vibes, but you, but you like pink shouldn't be a february thing it should be an all the time thing but also it could work in the february thing you know what i mean all right so going in with my five and what ceramic five and one ceramic bit from pana okay getting that shape getting that shape and now i'm taking care of you know just refining everything with um with my file so i'm taking care of the free edge i'm going around the surface area making sure that the cuticle is flush as well I've already removed bulk if there was any with my five and one bit. So but right now I'm just polishing it up a little bit and then buffing off camera. Now I have already cleansed the nails and everything. And so now I'm taking, this is my, this is my favorite brush from the Mareka um, set. Um, it's the rose gold one and I've dipped it into model one solid cream number 18, which is just this beautiful freaking fuchsia pink and I'm drawing those um, Frenchies on you know like I'm drawing it on and 
I don't like I'm gonna tell you right now I did not matte top coat this nail it's just the freshly filed nail and I'm drawing directly on there which you know what it means that I might have a hard time scraping the pigment off the nail if it does not if the artwork isn't where I need it to be but you know what that is the risk <sighs> that's the risk ain't it living on the edge not really um, so obviously I'm at the thumb now which meant that the other four piggies they turned out okay so now I'm using my model ones number six and I'm this is where you really get to see you know model one saw the cream number 18 come right into like look at that and you know what it's it's it could be a jelly you could do the one coat and it can have like sort of a jelly effect to it kind of on the translucent but also very pigmented side but then you hit them with a bam boom a second coat game changer who gonna talk to you nobody nobody everybody gonna cross the street when they see you coming because it's like we're not cool enough you know what I mean like we'll take the next bus that's just that's all her you know they respect it at least that's how it goes in my head <laughs> when I got a fresh set of nails that's how I like who can talk to me nobody um, so I have gone in and cured that for a full two minutes and now I'm using this is another model ones this is model one solid cream number hang on a second let me check my swatches model one solid cream number 14 you guys and I'm just, you know what? This is a very sad attempt at a plaid nail. <laughs> very sad attempt, but hey, we were going for easy. And I think, you know, I think my sister might've been cooking and the food was getting ready. And I was like, dang, I don't wanna be on these nails all day cause then I won't have enough time to eat. Who doesn't have enough time to eat? I always do, but I was just using that as an excuse. But this was a very simple look drawing these two lines try to keep them in the middle but also if it's not that's fine you know what I mean and then you draw another two lines closer notice that I'm just like sort of I was sort of winging it but you draw another two lines closer and I think this is actually a lighter shade of pink yeah this is another model one solid cream color hold on a second let me find it for you um, yes, yeah, so this is model one solid cream number four and this is a very 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 soft soft pink um, to create those secondary that secondary pair of lines and then running another line just across and you guys that is literally all this plaid was and of course I'm curing for flash curing for about a minute in between and then I do a full two minute cure before I ever ever approach this nail with something called a top coat do I want bleeding absolutely not this is not a this is not that kind of a situation you know what I mean okay I like nails done the way I like my chicken done well I'm <laughs> I don't even know why you guys subscribe to this crap I really don't y'all are so nice all right so everything's nice and done and prepped and tucked and mm, cured and I'm going in with my Gershon top coat I'm pointing her nails downward because you know this is a front of your top coat do I want it to go into the cuticles no so have them point the nails, you know, downwards. And I will be curing for a full 30 seconds. Now top coat time means, man, the video's over. You know, you don't got, you know, you don't gotta go home, but you can't stay here. Unless you're exploring the channel for other videos, at which point, stay, don't go, I need you. Um, <laughs> But yes, top coating time means it's the end of the video. And so I would like to, you know, it's a short description, you know, you know, a short product list, but I'd like you to check it out either way, you know? I'd like you to check it out follow me on social media look forward to a picture and video of the finished look don't forget to like share comment and subscribe if you haven't already i love you guys so so much for watching here's that uh video i was promising you guys and there's going to be a picture at the very end love you guys for watching promise to see you in the next one bye